it's Heather from HeatherHeartsArt.com back to give you another fabulous art tip. Today I'm actually going to be going through how I organize all of my art supplies. I think it's very important to organize all of your art materials, whether you're doing it for a hobby or a business, because you don't want to lose art supplies and when you're losing art supplies you have to run off to Michaels and buy new things and ain't nobody got time for that so we're gonna get into this and uh, hopefully it'll inspire you to organize all your supplies as well so let's get started so right over here is where I keep the majority of the art supplies that I use on a regular basis because it's so accessible like I could just come over here and right over here yes we have my little mousy cage recently I've been trying to put that up there well they knock it over and I'm just just like wow how rebellious are you guys in my head I'm imagining them like knocking it over and being like we're not gonna take it but back to the actual video so down here I keep all of my charcoal and pencil supplies and let's go through it right now so as you can see I have um, everything kind of in pencil boxes which I would definitely recommend like it keeps everything together and it's just so easy and um, if I were to actually go back and redo this all from scratch I would get different colored boxes because it would be so much easier to find things right off the bat um, you could label them but I mean it's just way more easier to like see a color and remember oh that's where I keep my pencils or what have you what should we go through first let's go through this box okay so in here is where I have my charcoal supplies and as you know I've been using mostly charcoal recently um, I really like how this is all stored together it's really easy I have all of my charcoal supply here so it's really easy for me to know if I'm gonna need more or anything like that cuz it's all right here um, I keep my vine and my compress together and it's not really a big deal for me um, but if you wanted to separate it you could and then I have these cute little containers right here um, and I have my uh, white charcoal here and then I keep my erasers in a separate one um, if you kind of leave them out especially ugh, do not leave your kneaded eraser out because it will um, like it falls on the ground and you have pets like it could get hair in it or it could get dirt and nobody wants that um, and it could scratch your picture too I've been um, putting tape actually on uh, my little uh, blending stumps for charcoal and it kinda helps me out a lot because I can tell the difference between uh, the stumps that I'm using for my charcoal drawings versus my pencil drawings and that's really helpful because I don't want to take the ones that I'm using for the pencil and start using them um, keeps them separated and I can tell which one's which I'm just gonna let you guys know if you are using charcoal oh my gosh your sham cloth it needs to be locked away because this thing seriously like if I just put this in there it's all gonna get all of my stuff all dirty and charcoaly and you don't want that so I would definitely recommend putting that in its own little container or plastic bag Moving on, we have um, this one right here, which I'm pretty sure, yes, it's all my pencils. So again, like I have everything together that I need. So literally, if I was going to take this somewhere, I would be able to um, take all my pencils and I would have everything I need. Um, and I, you know, uh, it's just, it's so much easier that way. I can like bring this on the go. It's, it's great. Um, and then down here, I'm pretty sure we have uh, oil pastel. Oh, no. This isn't oil pastels at all. These are my Prismacolor pencils, and um, when I was actually using these more often, I separated them. Like I had my neutral colors, and then I had my like rainbow colors, so that um, this because this is like way too much in one box, in my opinion, and it's like too much. Um, and then down here, this is my oil pastels. So I just have like my oil pastels here, and um, tried to keep like the different brands together and stuff like that. Okay, and then underneath, um, I have another fabulous box. I love these boxes, by the way. I think they're just fabulous. I love how they have this little latch. They're really fun to open, and I like how you can kind of see the contents inside. Um, this is all just my, like, um, pastels and chalk and stuff like that. Um, and that's pretty much it. Like, it's all together. So, again, like, if I needed to go uh, somewhere, I could just bring all of this stuff, and I would be totally set. Down here, I just have my ink, and I have uh, my rubber cement. And then over here, look, 
is all of my paint supplies. Right off the bat, right here, I have all of my gouache paints, and this is actually like a little cute container that I got from a little boy I was seeing in high school. He gave me this for Valentine's Day, and it was filled with like little candies. Um, the thing I really like about this container is like the lid, if I could like pull this off. What I love about it is this lid actually doubles as a palette so when I was taking this to class like I would bring this literally the whole thing to class like what a weird container right um, but I would be able to use the back side and use it um, to put all my little gouache paints and then the great thing about gouache and watercolor is you can let them dry and then you can put water and reuse the colors that you already put together but I just washed it so it's there's no colors really on it anymore. But it makes me really happy staring at that. And I think that's really important. You have to like really enjoy looking at the way that you um, organize things or else it's not going to be fun putting things away. So over here, this is actually um, a little thing that holds your um, makeup brushes, but I used it to put paint brushes in. I don't have all of them in here right now, but it's very convenient, and again, like, if I'm going somewhere, I know I could just stick this in my bag, and it's so easy. Um, okay, so right here I have all of my little, I think these are watercolor, and then I have oils over here. Um, again, like, don't be afraid to use, like, little plastic bags. I think these are great. Um, and they could really help you uh, maximize space. Over here we have another plastic bag and it just contains all of my sponges. Um, and then down below, like all the way down here, that's all my oil paint and I haven't been using it, um, but I might actually get back into oils um, soon, doing some dry brush technique. And then over here I just have all my palettes. Um, I have some uh, Bob Ross <laughs> and just uh, like watercolor palettes. I know it probably looks cluttered from here but it's actually really accessible, easy for me to find and it really works. And the other thing that I really like about having just two bins is uh, if I really just wanted to work with maybe a lot of different things and I was taking, I could literally take this if I really wanted to and it's all together and then this is a whole separate thing, you have all the paint materials, I just really like keeping it this way. Since again, I don't have like the hugest room in the world, I have to maximize space so I do put a lot of things under my bed, including my paint collection. So this is my acrylic paint collection. I really like how everything's stored and I love um, how it's like color coordinated. It makes things really easy to find. Um, so I have all of my like rainbow colors, I call it, um, here. And then I have over here, I have all of my neutrals, my browns, my beiges, and things like that. In this plastic little bag, I have metallics and just kind of like glittery colors that you wouldn't really normally use in paintings but for fun crafts. And then over here, I just have like the bigger bottles that wouldn't fit uh, in with anything else so uh, I really like this it really works for me and um, I would definitely encourage you if you're using paints to kind of go in some kind of color coordinated pattern I know by now you probably think underneath my bed is like a clown car but <laughs> it really works just having everything underneath my bed so here we have all of my colored pencils, my markers, sharpies, and these are my crazy scissors. I, I love my little crazy scissors. My mom got them a long time ago, and they're so much fun. I try to rubber band all of them, but as you can see, for some reason, uh, like, the rubber bands get, like, old or something, and they fall apart, but... I like bunching them so I can see all the colors. They just look so nice and organized that way. Um, and uh, yeah. So there you have it. That's how I store all my art supplies. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you enjoyed this video, please like it. It would make me very happy. And also, please leave a comment letting me know what you would like to see in the future from this channel. I'm still in the process of getting down everything right, in my opinion, with making these videos. And it would really mean a lot if you gave me feedback about that, because I want to make these videos as enjoyable for you as possible. So let me know. I love you guys. Take care and have a fabulous fabulous time organizing all your art supplies. Bye!